your body, shake them hips Let me see you work for tips Get my neck and sell your soul Let me see your booty The latest tour, oh good grief, um, 11 shows in, it's been spectacular, it really has, it just every year I come back here it just seems to get stronger and better and I think that's due to really great promoters um, and a lot of hard work and, in, and you know always improving on what I'm doing each time I come and play, looking for the best selection of music to play and just having the energy and the excitement and just enjoying what I do you know when you come out here because it's such a long way to travel you know I want to make the most of it I want to make sure that every show has have something special so that people go away feeling happy that they've had a really good time so um, yeah this, the tour has, has been amazing and many sold out shows and uh, yeah tonight is one of them that's a really good question about the broken beat sound um, to be honest I've always been into that flavor you know beats it's all about the beats whether it be down tempo or up tempo you know that is part of crafty cuts i love beats i'm not into i do like 4-4 music and i will never dismiss it and 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 um and and have a bad word to say about it it's just not my bag um my bag is all about like breaks drum and bass some dubstep some funky beats and i just love that and i just move forward each year sometimes you know a few years ago it was quite heavy heavy bass lines, hard drums, and then uh, when I first started out it was quite funky, and then the heavy stuff came in, and now it's kind of like, it went a bit housey sort of flavours, and then now the electro flavours, and now the funky beats have come back in. So I just move with the times and what sorts, what suits each audience, and I try and throw in, you know, a bit of everything, just to, to make it exciting and make it worthwhile hearing this amalgamation of sounds in one night and I think that's what craft makes craft a crafty night different because I chuck in acapellas, I do scratching, you know, I'm, I'm very vocal and I throw in dynamite vocals over my sets and I'm all about, if I came to this show, I want to enjoy it myself. So it's like there's a crafty in, in the audience as well as behind the decks. Uh, yeah, talk of a new album. Next year is going to finally see after two years hard work a new crafty album. It's going to have about 15, 16 tracks, all brand new. Uh, various collaborations from artists around the world, from rappers, to singers, to vocalists, all sorts. Um, and it is, it is very crafty. It's, uh, I haven't actually thought a name of it, so I'm going to leave it right to the last minute. But it's got funk, it's got electro, it's got disco, it's got hip hop breaks drum and bass it's got every element of flavors and it's it's, it's it's a really organic soulful album a lot of songs on there it should see the release on my label around about march april time which is going to be fantastic and then um i'll be i'll be touring it and hopefully i'll be able to do some live shows uh, it's got a lot of dynamite mc on there which is great and uh obviously a skills feature cast nick taylor uh, Sportio, Tim Deluxe, Jungle Brothers, to name a few. So there's some interesting collabs on there. I'm really excited. It's definitely my best work to date. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to, to drop it upon my, my fans who've waited so long for to hear a new Crafty album. I've, I've set up my own label so that I have a little bit more control about where my music goes and, and what I can release and I can choose the remix packages etc etc. So basically uh, Instant Vibes, that's the name of the label and uh yeah loads and loads of interesting exciting new flavors and sounds and lovely 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 little disco nuggets coming your way breakfast um i've had so many incredible moments there to be honest from people squirting water cannons everywhere to the whole stage being overcrowded with people dancing to being attacked by bugs when i've done a set with a skills where the lights and they all come flying on all the bugs in the 40 de 40 degree heat um the show with Dynamite was pretty special that I'd done. Uh, the last show that I'd done, and I think that was 2009, uh, that was pretty special. What was my favourite moment? I think it was when the Plumps, me and Solar Man, I think when we were all on stage, and it just, it was just amazing. I can't remember what year it was, but there was one year where it was a finger licking, big finger licking lineup, and I remember coming on stage just really nervous but really excited, and it was just. 
you could just feel the tension in the audience. It was just so electric. And the vibe was just so perfect. And when I came on and dropped my first tune, I was just like, yes, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I love Perth. This is why I've always had so many good times here. The crowds are just so... Um, so vibrant and just so into their music and especially breaks it's like perth is the home of breaks the, the it's the capital world for, for breaks you know people just really dig it and um break fest is definitely one of those festivals that have championed that sound and liam liam mazzichelli you know everyone knows a big great debt to this man for bringing in so many great artists over the years to this one show in such a spectacular venue the amphitheater you couldn't ask to perform in a much more um awesome venue 10 year anniversary, um, in, in my words, I just want to wish everyone to have a special day at Breakfast because it's a special party. It's one, one day of the year where everyone gets together and is really stoked about having a good time. Touch wood, generally speaking, the weather's always good. In fact, it'll be bloody hot, I expect. Uh, there'll be lots of sweaty bodies, lots of pumped up people vibing. The lineup is great. I wish, I wish I could be there. But I've got commitments in the UK this year, unfortunately, so I can't be there. But luckily enough, I'm playing at Villa tonight to experience a mini breakfast before in, in, a, in a really cool club. But I'd just like to say everyone um, who's ever been to see me at breakfast, thank you for coming down there because I've had a fantastic time. You've always made me feel real special and always will. And I will come back. Uh, next year bigger and better with some new ideas and new flavors and uh, drop some fantastic gems and monsters just for you so perth i just want to say big happy 10 years you guys are the best and enjoy your day because it's going to be well special